the day that I'm streaming this, the last episode already went live. All that happened last episode is we found a new place where we're living, and today, I'm gonna reveal where that is to the stream. Those watching on YouTube already know, but anyways, three, two, and one. I'm living in a rock. I am Patrick. This is where I live now. I have my, uh, my Mr. Krabs over there. Wow, you are bloody. Okay, well, he's had some fun. I didn't even- I- that was not me doing that. Actually, maybe- no, you know what? It was. Oh, I stole their egg. I forgot that was me that stole their egg before, and that's pro- yeah, okay. Anyways, what's going on, everyone? We have moved location. So, off camera, I, uh, Mad Mike, by the way, I saw a cheer. Thank you, man. Off camera, I moved everything over. In fact, you guys, again watching a stream, I hate to repeat it for those watching on YouTube, but this is just for comedical value right now. No also, Slippery CEO. Hi, Slippery CEO. I like that name. It's very odd and peculiar. We, Kara and I actually made a wager, okay? Kara and I made a wager. And yes, I'm gonna go ahead and just show this off to the stream right now because the video will have gone live in a little while, but I'm gonna say it right now. Kara and I made a wager that I could not raft and carry over every single item that we had in our old house, the Bat Shack, over to here in one trip successfully without losing it all. The wager was if I was able to take everything, every item that was over there, I would get to, I would basically be able to upload one video to her channel that I want to. So I can make a video for her channel and have the per full permission to upload it. And she has nothing, she can't do anything about it. And thank God I'm her boyfriend and I wouldn't be trying to screw her over. Now the other thing was um, that Kara said, if I don't do that, that I have to change my Twitter profile picture to something different for a week. As well as get double, this is my offering, get double of all the items that I lost. Your boy is uploading a fudging video to Kara's channel because I fudging did it. In fact, that bastard over there, there were a few of these guys on the way. This would have killed me, straight up. But I was able to raft all the way over from our house to... Now, you can see where we're actually living right now uh, in, you know, coordination to where we were before. It looks... It's pretty close, actually. We're not at the center. We're not living at the center. But yeah, um, your boy did it, and I fudging won, so Kara, get ready for a sick upload and a lot of monetization potential. I moved over everything, and we're good to go on that. Um, the game is lagging actually quite a bit, and I think I know exactly why. I know exactly why. I changed, uh, wait, no, what was it? I changed the anti-aliasing up too high, and I think I changed the, um, what was it? It was the shadow, general shadows? I think... The tr no general shadows I think was at low, and I'm pretty sure world tile buffers needs to be at epic. That should be still ass. All right, well you guys will have to deal with it for a little. No, that's actually not too bad. Okay, it's not terrible. I'll optimize arc a little bit better, but it's it's yeah. So uh, welcome to the new abode. I might as well show you really fast though. I am gonna cheat because I I don't prefer cheating. I don't really like cheating at all. The only reason I'm cheating right now is because I want to be able to show off the place during the daytime because if I don't, then it you guys don't get the full effect of it and how beautiful it really is. So I'm going to set it to daytime just because for that reason alone. You are fine with it yesterday. You're going to be fine with it today, I'd assume. And also, Winsaw coming in two months in a row. Welcome back, my man. Great to have you. So. Catch you later. I love you too. Kara's going out for a little while as well with her family. So yeah, welcome to our humble abode. This is where Kara and I chose to live. Uh, now, the unfortunate thing right now is that I don't have a Tyranidon on me since I uh, forgot to take a dino with me when we moved over. But um, yeah, this is where we're living. It's uh, pretty insane. I do wish that I could really show off it by flying around the area. But uh, this is where we want to, you know, we flew around the entire map. We actually flew around a little bit more today. We were recording for about two and a half hours earlier. And uh, this is where we decided to live. Here's the idea of what I want to do here. I want to um, wall off this entire way here. And then this is the coolest thing, okay? And Kara freaked out at this. Check this out. How cool is this area over here? It's just tucked away. This is where... Harmon, thank you very much for the sub. Great to have you. Three months in a row, resub hype. This is where we're going to be keeping our uh, larger dinos, like our Giga and maybe a Titanosaur in here. Uh, probably going to put like a giant dino gate up there, if we can fit it, which hopefully we can. Uh, that's where the bigger dinos are going to go. And we're going to fence off this area here, and we're going to fence off a little area all the way over there, as well as this wall right here. And we're going to let all of our dinos free roam around the area. And then where we're going to live... 
because obviously we don't want to build, um, you know, with the dinos and everything like that. It's really... Oh, wait a minute. This wasn't it. Oh, my God. I completely forgot there's another area back here. So, yeah, it's like another little, like, whatever that is back there, which looks really cool. Five hundred shoes, by the way, saying, Pete, you're my favorite streamer. Easy reload so much. Keep up the great work and keep streaming. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. JWF Angel. Much love. JWF Angel. Hopefully it's not like Fangel or anything that I mispronounced. But yeah, um, that's where we plan on living. I can go ahead and show up a little bit more over here. I'll probably get Taming on a Tyranidon soon or like fly. I don't know what I'm going to do because I wanted to carry a log on and fly back over here for my episode. But I don't think I'm going to get the chance. But yeah, look at this area though. Like, you got this entire... You can build here, obviously. <laughs> That's a little bit self-explanatory. But you got this whole area, like, down in here that just looks damn cool. You got the massive area up here. This whole thing is gorgeous. And then the stepping, the, you know, stepping stairs, the stairs, stepping stones, whatever you want to call them. Look at this, man. And then the giant mass hallway. This is what I wanted to show before. It's unreal, the size of this thing. I thought it was going to be a bit too small and a bit too, like, cramped in. Hell no, it's not. Oh my god, it is definitely not. You've got a massive area up here to build whatever the fudge you want. And not only that, you can jump off into the lake whenever you want to. I'll tell you guys my favorite thing. Back in the first season of Ark that I played when I was over at uh, Hidden Lake, I think it was called. I can't remember what it was. My favorite thing was being able to jump off from our roof or jump off from our building and, yeah, from the roof or whatever, and just land in the ocean. In this one, you can do the same damn thing. And then you got stairs going the entire way around. It's just... Our personal favorite area on the map, I say without question, it, it's wonderful. This is going to be really cool to put like a view or something here, like some sort of bridge off. You can't jump off here, I don't think. You can maybe get like over there or something. I don't really want to kill myself and find out right now because I need to put down a bed before I die and can't get back here. Well, it doesn't matter because like, I might actually... No, you know what I'm going to do? Hold on a second. You know what I actually want to do right now? I am going to kill myself. Just, just, just saying. But um, I got to get down first, which I guess I can... You know what? I'm just gonna leap. If I make it... Okay, fine. I'm not that big of a... Okay. I, I, I haven't tested it yet, alright? I haven't tested it from every corner, so I could have died there. And the... The heck? Okay, the music just start, starts to turn on right now. It's fine. But the surrounding area, too, looks incredible. I, I just... I love Ark for the sole reason of how beautiful of a game it is. It's really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and put all of our stuff away in this raft. The reason why I'm gonna kill myself right now... And so I can get back home and get the Tyranid on and then fly over. Uh, so we'll have at least a flying mount to be able to go around the area. I don't have too much on me. It's valuable. Uh, it's mostly just like my tools, my crossbow, and my bowls and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I guess the question is now is how exactly do I want to... Uh, how exactly do I want to do a flip? I can't remember. It was like some funny joke that I heard before, of like an extended of that. I don't know what it was, but it was something really cool. I need to find something to kill me right now. Either way. Hopefully, you guys um, are down for living here. I don't see why you wouldn't be. It's just such a... Like, look at this, man. It's unreal. And you got just stairs going down to the dodos and everything. What a beautiful I place. Get no I go. It's so nice. Yeah, Especially during the day, level 120 dota. TXET, thank you very much for the sub, man. Lay off the spam a little bit. I love you, but I do ask that you don't spam as much. But yeah, much love on this uh, sub for two months in a row. Great to have you. Also, Steven, I see you talking about his voice cracks for days. You should know by now it's just how I talk. Trust me, I've had bad voice cracks. You'll see one when they come. Trust me, I I don't try hiding them. I really don't. But, like, I, I peak my voice quite a lot. Like, that. that's that's intentional. The voice cracks, though, they're... Uh, you, you'll, you'll know. You'll know when they happen. So, hopefully, jumping from here will kill me. Um, I don't feel like it will, though. I want to get up there, but I don't think there's a way for me to get up there. Let's see if this will kill me. I feel like it's not going to. Yeah! Rip body! I lost my armor, but it's okay. The armor's easy to make. It's literally nothing. Everybody's freaking out about it. Don't worry, we're good. And also, I had a bit, a little bit of a tilt spree. That's a beautiful thatch. I had a little bit of a tilt spree back in the, um... What's it called? The, uh... The last episode that I played in. Why the hell is this game releasing DLCs and all this other paid content when they still haven't fudging fixed... Bodies falling through the damn floor. I mean, come on. Really? Like, I, I don't... I give this game so much credit, but what's the goddamn deal with that shit, man? Anyways, stuff had happened off camera as well. Spoiler episode for... Is she unconscious or dead? She's naked. 
Unconscious. What do you have on you? That's a storage box. What do you got on you, Kara? Literally nothing. Well, I'd kill her if I, uh, if she, no, she's got nothing on her, so I don't really know. But anyways, a couple things that happened off camera, by the way, too, or last episode, rather. Um, a couple of raptors died, unfortunately, but Kara did save me a level 96 freaking raptor that's already had go! quite a couple kills. Yeah, Mayor 1976, welcome back. Thank you very much for the sub, man. Appreciate it. Prime sub. Uh, Luna died. That was the heartbreaking one. For those that don't know who Luna was, because maybe you don't follow up in the series like too in-depth or whatever, you should know. But uh, Luna was Kara's uh, level 115-something Pteranodon. Yeah, uh, that sucker got mauled by a raptor. God, it, it got viciously mauled by a raptor. Uh, Brandon also got killed by a Titan Boa. Not because of my fault, but he was literally just that dumb while I was exploring with him. So that happened as well. Um, but we have now... Whatever name this was, I think this is Carrot. I think this is Carrot on. I'm pretty sure that I'm flying on right now. And we got Sailor V, which is another team that Carrot just did earlier on. Um, so yeah, we got a, another Raptor over there. So things are kind of cool. Now I will say one more time, uh, a little cool thing. Do you want to do movement speed or weight? I feel like I want to do yeah movement speed. That's eh, hardly anything, but yeah, Rip Luna, just fudging. Yeah, I know this guy's this guy over here is putting in chat. I'm 30 minutes late, bro. I've been Fudging, get a better computer and get a better line of sight. The last thing that I'll say, it's repeated content before we continue going over. Who here remembers, and I think most of you remember, uh, the last episode that I streamed two days ago for YouTube, yesterday for Twitch. Um, yo, Bronto Valley over here. What's up, my bros? Yesterday on Twitch, two days ago on YouTube, we had a little bit of an issue of when we were flying around on our Pteranodon um, that our energy, or stamina rather, kept just dying out immediately. Do you guys notice anything? Do you notice anything at all? Anything, uh... Anything at all? Well, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something right now. The beautiful thing is that, uh... I didn't adjust the stamina at all. I didn't adjust the stamina at all. The stamina is the exact same. I actually found a pretty interesting exploit in the game. So basically what you do is if... Oh, by the way, there's a Quetzal over there. I think it's the one that we saw from earlier. But yeah, first Quetzal of the series. That's awesome. Wish we could tame it, but unfortunately we can't. We can't do it for a while. Anyways, if I'm just holding... I'm just holding W right now. I'm moving very slowly, but I'm hardly... Ta I'm not taking off any stamina whatsoever. If I press one time shift, just like that, that didn't really do anything to stamina at all. Like right there, it yeah, lunged me forward. Caleb. Thank you very much. Much love to you. It lunged me forward, but it didn't cause me any stamina. What I'm doing right now... See if you can hear... Here, hold on. Listen. So, the exploit in the game is to travel basically, not infinitely, but a lot more than ever all you do is just tap space to give it that extra lunge you just tap the space or the shift bar rather just to fly quickly and give it that extra lunge and then this way you don't have to you don't have to worry about stamina at all i mean you still have to a little bit but it's hardly anything remember this is the same exact stamina where i had to refill and like pause four times just to get from home to center and I flew all the way from home. I could fly to center right now on half stamina. And this is a level 20 bird. Nice exploit. It's a great game. I love it. I just love how that exists. It's the best thing in the world. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and fly over. Uh, oh. Right above it. <laughs> is this our home right here? Is it? Yeah, it is. Would you look at that? Look at that, we're already home, I didn't even realize. So yeah, that's a thing, um, from today. Beautiful. There, it, it's literally infinite stamina, and the nice thing is too, is that because of the little stamina that you use, you hardly have to worry about food at all. I mean, I still get a little bit of food on this guy, but it's barely anything. So yeah, um, I think the raft with all the stuff is over, uh, here, I believe. Yeah, I, I can just sprint out here with stamina, that's fine. Where's the raft? 
Trying to remember where it was. No, I think it was on the opposite side, I'm pretty sure. Yes, indeed it was. Okay, let me go ahead and go over there, and we'll equip everything, and get working on what we're going to be doing today for today's episode. I uh, mostly just wanted to catch up on you guys. Uh, yeah, there's the wrapped. Wonderful. We're looking beautiful. And then I guess for right now, I can just leave this guy on top of the rock. The nice thing is, too, is that there's no hostile mob... Like, uh, I said it again. There's no hostile dinosaurs around here. Hardly at all. There's like nothing for the most part, which is so nice. I mean, you got the one guy out there. He's a level 5. He won't do any damage to you at all. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get a pick out there. Let me get a do not want the eggs. Thank you very kindly. I get the hatchet. We already have one of those. Get the crossbow. Uh, what else do we need? Shrank arrows. Pike. Bola. Got that. And I think we're good for the most part. Yeah, we are. Get a little bit of food right there. You can see that Mickey's starting to play some Rocket League. Bro, we gotta get catching up on that. We didn't get an episode out today because he wasn't around last night. We gotta get back and bumping up on that shit. I'm excited. Anyways, we're over here. Uh, I probably should get some better armor. I do want to check out really fast, though. So it's level 35 for the... F Gilly, I believe? Yeah, the Gilly armor. We could make uh, fur. However, I'm not really down to do that. Although, I would... I wouldn't be too against getting uh, full chitin if I really wanted to, like really upgrading my armor. So chitin helmet... Oh, I forgot I learned it. Oh yeah, I do. Alright, well, that works entirely, I guess. Also, 500 from Conicler. Long cheer. Let's read this one out really fast. I think you might reconsider a living area if you saw one hidden area... Wait, hold on. If you saw one hidden area, Brandon, at the very least, you should take a look. It's the underworld zone, a massive underground cavern. You can fly anywhere inside with four separate entrances, and the easiest one is that the coordinates... Longitude, 62.9. Latitude, 53.4. It's a hole in the top of the mountain among a group of metal and crystal nodes. So I've heard about that. And actually, a lot of people have been telling me to go to the underworld. I think Kara might get a little ticked off at me that I'm going there without her. But that's... I'm just kidding. It's not her fault. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of feel like I should go there before I start really settling down on a home. So let me see here. Longitude is 62.9 and latitude is 53.4. Uh, yes or no? Who would be down for me to go over there and take a look and see if that's really as, uh... See if that's really good. Uh, sorry, I'm doing something else right now. Uh, give me just one moment really fast. The entire stream said yes. Ev literally everyone. Except for, like, one guy. Let's go ahead and, um... Try it out. So, map-wise, latitude and longitude. Okay. So, long is 60. So, we got... Okay. So, is it on this island? Oh, it is. Okay. So, it's just a little bit over... Is it over this direction, then? Am I going the right way? I think that I am. We just got to find the peak over here that brings us down into it, which is not any of these from what I can view around here. Is it in this? 34.7 and then 65.8. Yeah, it should be right around here. Right there, Twin Peaks, right there. Okay, so it's one of these. Let me go ahead and put up the gamma so I can actually see where the... Ah, oh, freaking rain, man! God damn it, do I have to deal with this? Alright, let me see. Is it in here by chance? No, it is not. Unless it is, and I'm blind, which hopefully I'm not. Uh, nothing around there. Oh, is it right here? Ooh, no. Hold on, it's like a little dip above. Is it here? No, it's not here. And you get like, oh, that's bigger than I thought. It's right down here. I didn't actually think it was on the ground. Hey, we found it. Okay, cool. I really did not think it was like down low here. I thought it was literally on a peak and you go down. We're good. We found it. Uh, let me go ahead and regain up my stamina really quickly. I'm very excited. Okay, before we fly down, let's uh, get our parachutes right here. Uh, we'll tie that to, I think, what's a good reflex one that I can hit? Four. Pete, you're a person. Appreciate it, J Blade. I think you're a person too. At least I'd hope so. All right, five and then six. So parachute is four. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to fly down. You know what? I so badly want to set it to daytime just so I don't have to deal with this, but I have a feeling that it won't matter because we're going underneath a cave anyway. Now, am I gonna I fall? I've got my hand your... right on four. Not get sleep Thank you, by the way. Minecraft 0308. Great name. Appreciate it. I got my hand right... Ooh, what is this over here? Ah, oh, just a, cool, a little crevice there. I've got my finger right on it in case I fall down. What is this little platform here? Maybe for, like, birds or stuff? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going down slowly just because if I fall... It looks like I'm able to fly through. 
Okay. So it was outdated. All right. Okay, cool. And then all of this over here. So there is... Okay, so we got to be a little bit careful here. Um, ooh, I hope to God it doesn't actually drop me here. Oh my God. Oh, that's lava. That is lava. It looks like I can fly. Okay. Am I going through the right place? I think I am. I hope so. There's like a bunch of different locations that you can go into. I hate the choppiness right now, but I can't do anything about it. I do have my parachute on. I am going to make sure that I at least stay above ground so I don't just fall into lava. Am I going through the right way here? Rip my ears and it jumps so high. Yeah, sub sandal. Sub sandal wake you up for sure. All right, still staying up there. Yeah, a little bit of lag there. Am I actually laggy on the stream? Let me make sure I'm not. Um, no, we're good. Not lagging on the stream. Looks so cool. It does look cool so far. The game was a little bit too high right now, but I'm just using that to navigate get around. Blue rasp. Apparently you're a cat, so hey. You're not a person, but I am. So you got something not in common with me right there. You're going the right way. Cool beans. I'm down. I hope the guy doesn't dismount me at the wrong time and I just have to deal with all this crap because I do not have the right armor for any of this. And thank God I did put on the hide armor because I am cold in here. So I imagine that I would have been freezing like I am right now. <laughs> Hopefully we can get through this without dying. Uh, I think... Yeah, we probably should be fine. Okay, we're cold. Thank God. And is... Oh my... I'm bracing. Hold on. What am I doing? Gamma 3.5? Oh... Oh my God. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm definitely, um, I am definitely I a little bit awestruck. Poopy Soupy coming in to interrupt that. Of course we have to. Much love, my man. Welcome. I think he likes it. Clickbait incoming, thumbnail incoming. I think I like it. <laughs> Just a little. What gave that away? I wonder. Yeah, I like this area. This is this is good area. I I. It's gorgeous. I mean, okay, I'll just talk about it for a second. This is insane. It looks beautiful. I love being me, being me. I love the you know the fact that the mushrooms or flowers, whatever you want to call them. They're apparently flowers, but they look exactly like, I think they're mushrooms in this. I don't really know. They have my color, that tone of green, the light, like, tealish color green that I've been using on Twitch forever here and there that I still need to revamp my YouTube channel with. But I promise myself that I'm not going to revamp my channel at all, and I'm going to keep that crappy banner that I have until I hit a million subs. So that's going to be a while. But overall, I this, this is awesome. This right here, this is really fudging cool. I'm a little bit shocked, though. I will say one thing, that I'm somehow cold underneath here. Which I get that it's a cave, but, like, if I go up to this, am I at least gonna not be that cold anymore? Or can you go up this? I almost want to, like, go up this, but I feel like I'm gonna die. Am I gonna die? I think I might die. So what I'm gonna do here... There's some trees, thankfully. The title of the stream fits perfectly. It really does. This place is amazing. Conocore, thank you very much for uh, helping me out a little bit on there. Everybody else who recommended it, as well as yesterday, too. People recommended the same thing. I wasn't going to do it today, but I think with the amount of persuasion that we got, I, I, there's no way that I couldn't have. I love the fact that freaking normal, like, natural dinos spawned out. And when I say natural, it sounds so weird, but, like, I love that, you know, like, turtles spawn down here and parasaurs and everything. This is gorgeous, dude. And drink a little bit of water. I'm a little dehydrated. Wonderful. That's crazy. That's the sun. <laughs> imagine this is like... Imagine this is... I don't know, man. Like, it's so cool. This whole... Look at... Oh my god. This is unreal. It's massive, too. Like, I think I already said that before about my house, but like... It's huge. I didn't expect it to be like... You know, I expected it to be like, oh, it's going to be a cool underground area. It won't be, you know, like too insane or whatever. This is paradise. That's a good way of putting it there. It's paradise. And I almost feel like... 
See, here's the thing that I'm curious about, right? If we lived here, which we definitely can, I... I uh, Kara's not gonna like the fact that I explored this without her, but I can't wait to see her reaction to it, genuinely. If... If we lived here, how would we get dinos down? Would we have to, um... What's it called? Would we have to just, like, fly them down, I guess? On, like, um... What's it called? Is that a... Aw, oh, dead little itchy. Do we have to just, like, fly them down like Quetzals or stuff? Because I imagine we can get down here pretty... I mean, could we fly Quetzals down here? Because that's the thing that I'm wondering. How would you get dinos here? Show Kara. Kara, unfortunately, just left for a while, actually. She's not home, which is the thing that kind of hurts me the most right now. She just left about 10 minutes... Uh, about 20 minutes ago. But whenever she came in, I said goodbye to, um... What's it called? Go off and, uh... What is it? To go off with her family, her, uh, sister and grandma. Sorry, my commentary is really off right now. I apologize for that. But she's away right now. I... I just... I'm just gonna bowl this guy real fast. Hold up. Shoot. Make sure I bowl the right one. Oh, there we go. And you're only at level 15. I'm not gonna waste the bowl on you. Thank you very kindly. Would you do me a favor and just let me kill you real fast here? If I died right now, I would be the saltiest guy you've ever met. I would be so salty if I died right here. Oh my god, I'd probably cry. So we're gonna get a bed down as soon as we can possibly get one, just to be able to- We're gonna get a couple beds down, actually, for Kara as well as everybody else here. My friend, you need to get yourself killed for me. Thank you very kindly. And we got ourselves a level up. Beautiful. Uh, you can get dinos down, but not all up again. Well, I imagine if you can get them down, you could probably just bring them back up the same way, right? Unless I'm wrong. But what about a Giga and a T-Rex? That's the thing that I don't know. I, I mean, we wouldn't be able to keep them down here. Maybe we can keep them at, like, the other area. I don't know. Flames Ace, thank you very much. Mention, uh, this person is cool. Yeah, what's up, Ghost Rabbit? I mean, you seem pretty cool. Someone's subbing with your name. Well, you gotta be kind of cool. Okay, I'm going over to there really fast. I just realized that there... You know what? I just realized that there's land all the way around here that I didn't even explore. We're on, like, the main island right now. I think we are, at least. This looks like the main island. Dude. The funny thing is that... Kara was so dead set on living at that place. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of was too. If she says no to this, she is the craziest mother trucker I've ever met in my life. And I, I've, I've known her for a while. She ain't that crazy. She can be at times, but I mean, let's be honest. All of us can. Wow. This is amazing. I love every second of this. I will say it again. Scorched Earth, it looked good. How can you beat this, though? Like, seriously. So what else is there? Actually, do you know what might be a um, a deciding factor? Unless I miss some of it. Yes or no, and you guys can help me out right now, unless I can't find any, which I feel... Is that crystal? That's crystal, and is that metal? Is that is that metal? Is that metal rocks? That's metal rocks. Yeah, well, uh, I was gonna ask whether or not there's crystal and- wait, no, is it metal ro oh wait, no, is it? Hold on, are these metal rocks? Yeah, they are. Okay, well, I was gonna ask whether or not if there was crystal and metal down here so we had enough resources to get everything. Nope, there is. Yeah, I- I- Yeah, I'm kinda sold. I'm a little sold. Think about it this way, too. There's metal here, like, right there. I mean, it's not that much metal. There probably is around the entire- Oh my god, there's an entire world here! I didn't even realize- I, when I flew down here, I didn't realize that the outer, because this is what I was just talking about, that I didn't think it was this big. I didn't realize that the outer edges were this insane in, like, in size. Or, not size, but, like, depth. Th this is an entire world right now. There's so many pteranodons and just, oh my god. Metal around here. Think about not having to, this could be, this is a map in itself. I mean, there's no snowy area. Is there a snowy area? There can't be, right? <laughs> like, that, that's pushing it a little too far, right? You can't you can't just have everything down here. Because I swear to God, if there was a snowy area down here, I would never go back up to the surface again. If we could just get everything that we could get up there down here, then I'd probably be... The only thing is that it is cold down here. I've actually lost quite a bit of health, to be fair. Uh, let me go and eat some food. I think it's just from the fight, and I wasn't regening, but... Waste a load of berries. This is unreal, dude. This is unreal. That's why it's called the Underworld. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Let me go ahead and put that level into uh, melee damage right there. Level 33, not too bad. Kara's level 39, so she's kind of ahead of the game, but... 
I mean, like, even just this little passageway up here, like, this is damn cool, you know what I mean? Like, is this, um... Got a little impatient there, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, that's just an entrance. All right, so there's a lot of snakes and boas over there. Gotta make sure not to piss off those guys too much, but yeah, I mean, hey, let's be honest. This, and it doesn't rain! Oh my god, it's the best thing! Yo, Carl just came up with the best realization I've had. It doesn't rain! There's no rain down here! At least I hope not. Maybe there is. I think it was raining when- No, it wasn't raining when I went down. I think it stopped right before. Imagine it still rains even from the top and like, I'm just getting excited for nothing. It's like, nope. Still raining. Still rains through. Don't worry about that. Ark gotta make sure that you hate that rain. That, that rain- You know what? There could be literally no metal. There could be no dinos. The entire place could look like scorched earth. It could even look like the freaking volcano mounds. I still move it for the sake of there being no rain. Uh, that's just, that's just be, I, I'm sold. I am sold right now. So, I do have to ask one, one thing really quickly here. Now, a little bit of embarrassment because I haven't used this on my stream in a very good while. But I'm gonna keep it for the video as well. I think... Oh, no, no, wait, we're good. Okay, cool. So, what I'm gonna do really fast here, I'm gonna open up a straw poll. So, you guys can vote on here for a second. I do need to get the actual, like, uh, voting thing here really fast. So I gotta launch Stream Pro and everything. Just so it looks cool for digital and everything. Let me go ahead and edit the vote. Let me get a straw poll out here. I'd be ashamed to not... I think if Kara has any, like, question about living here, I'm 100% sold. This right... Yeah. Mathishan, major key alert. It's major key alert. Uh, where do I want to live? So, Underworld or uh, Ruin Temple. Was there any other places? I don't think so. Okay. Create poll. Underworld and Ruin Temple. I'm gonna go ahead and link the straw poll up with the, um, with this one right here. There we go. So we'll go ahead and set that right there. And then, so guys, if you're watching this stream right now, do me a favor and please vote in that straw poll so I can take a look at it. Just let me know what you want. I know my health's actually going on quite a bit. I should probably get back to the other center. Let me go ahead and do that for the time being. It should update in a few seconds. Yeah, I am actually hurting. Thanks for the warning there. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, um, Underworld right now, 69%. And then Ruin Temple is 30%. We're gonna let it... I'm also laggy right now just because I've got OBS up and I'm keeping an eye on it right now. But uh, I, I very heavily doubt that this will not get chosen. Even higher than 69%. I was first vote. Yeah, Underworld. It's beautiful, man. It is absolutely gorgeous. You know what else is gorgeous? The ocean that we got on the backdrop here. Even though it's stock footage, I didn't actually film it. I still need to go down to the beach near where I live and just film, like, for five hours just to back off of that so it's actually not, like, you know, um... Yeah, it's just, like, real, but, uh, yeah, I'm actually hurting right now because I'm injured so much from not, uh, being warm enough. Holy fudge. Uh... For some reason, I'm not... warm. Why am I not warming up? So I got bad news. It's such happy music for death. I went up to the, um, what's it called? I went up to the, uh, the, the sun, and it wasn't warming me like it was before. It, it wasn't warming me for some reason. And I don't, I don't know why, but it, it just wasn't. Can someone tell me why? I, I did, I froze, no, okay. Alright, so, I didn't freeze to death. I didn't freeze to death, Pete, you dumbass. Hey, you know what? All right, fine. I was too, I was too enticing the voting and everything to... Okay, I should have made a bet. <laughs> I should have made a bet. I'm sorry, all right? I'll get my... St I'll probably never get my... St it's even freaking frozen cool out here. I went up to the sun and it was, it was warming me before, but it wasn't before. So I was like, oh, geez, I wonder how close I really need to get to it for it to warm it. And I ran into the thing and it one-shot me. So, I- I didn't... 
So I think we've realized the, the first downside with it in that it is uh, damn cold down there. It's it's a little chilly down there. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn up some fur armor. I think really. I'm I'm just gonna learn up some fur. There we go. What do I need to? I think I need to put that in a smithy, right? To check out what I need. For, what do I need for fur again? Is it metal? I believe. Climb up. Yeah, there we go. All right. What do I what do I need for uh, fur again? Oh yeah, pelt. So we ain't doing that today. Let me go ahead and do that. Don't fly into it. It's the sun. Yeah, dude. Listen, I did. I it, it. I was fine before, but for some reason I wasn't. Then I don't know what changed, but I just wasn't getting cool at all. I wasn't getting warm. I was getting damn cool. So I guess um. I guess we figured out our actual place to live, and we've got some work to do now. Okay. All right. So nothing's here. We don't have anything here. I took everything back home. Just realized something. How exactly am I going to make... No, I still got some basic stuff here, right? I still have some basic things. But I did just realize something. How exactly am I going to get... Because I need to fly this guy back over here now. Let me get some movement speed on you. I need to fly this guy back over, but I need to get a Pteranodon saddle. And if I don't have... No, Caradon's fine, by the way. Caradon's fine. Caradon actually got hurt a little bit, but then flew away. So Caradon's okay. Caradon didn't die. I can actually check the uh, tribe manager, not group order. What the fudge was that? Let me check a tribe manager, not survive. Okay, for okay. Tribe manager. Oh, it's so stingy. All right. Tribe member. Yeah, so we're good. All right. We're fine. Caradon's not dead. Everything's good. We still got the guy. We're good to go. Um, yeah. Oh, God. You know what I love about uh, when I die in here? I know exactly who to ban from my chat. <laughs> A bunch of dumbasses thinking they're the keyboard, keyboard no warriors in here. Sidelo, thank you for the three months in a row, my man. Much love to you. God, love 10-year-old keyboard warriors. My favorite thing ever. So, it's rented on. I've got a few Engram points. Uh, oh, I'm not level 35. Ooh, I can't make that yet. So, what am I going to do? So, basically, nothing really else of value happened in the episode. But I do want to show you guys a little clip that happened afterwards. So, Kara, at the moment that I streamed this, was currently gone. I couldn't show her at all. Later on in the day, though, I convinced her to get on Ark. We both grinded for, like, about an hour and got Pteranodon saddles. And we found our way back over there. And I took Kara by, like, you know, the claws of the Pteranodon. And picked her up and flew her over uh, to get a reaction to it. And this is that. And uh, it's kind of cool. She, uh, well, uh, uh, it was, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come. Uh, so I got Kara online. We've been grinding for about an hour, and, uh, we finally got a saddle for the tread on that was back home. And yeah, I'm got, taking got her. Confusing. <laughs> yeah, it was a little confusing. So, what are you expecting? I have no idea, but I really loved the place we originally found it. Honestly, in my heart, I don't think we're going to find a place that I suddenly like better. And you're like, this place is amazing. It's going to be fantastic and you're going to love it and you're going to want to move here. And I'm all like, no. So you you believe that with your with your heart. You believe that's incredibly strongly. I believe strongly. it from my first eyelash to my pinky toe. You do? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, do you like the surrounding area that we're at right now? I gotta drop you off because I gotta regain stamina. Really well, fast. I can't see anything, so it is nighttime. No. Um, that shouldn't really matter so much. It looks good whether it's day or night. Uh, and you've got hide armor on, so you're good. All right, let me go and pick you back up. Yeah. So you like right. this area? This one right here. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> do not I, think it, I was ending in there. Uh, you're ready for a little bit of a journey. Uh, sure. See, yeah. Brandon's like, oh, she's she's gonna love it. Did you she's ever watch that so movie, happy. Journey to the Center of the Earth? Yeah. Uh, welcome to the Journey to the Center of the Earth, pretty much. It's a safe place to live. Wait, no, that's a that's a cave, isn't it? Well, I mean, they never said getting to treasure was gonna be easy. What do you think Indiana Jones was doing all this time? I mean, come on. Um... Oh god, how are we flying in here? Uh, it just works. So, uh, don't look down. Uh, okay. That's, okay. Great. Solid. How are you feeling? Some heckin' lava. It's not, uh, you know, 
Yeah, it's okay. I could I could be flying you over, uh, you know, the land, but I feel like that's that doesn't capture th what I'm going for with this with this uh, tour guide journey. Okay. Unfortunately. Um, that's fair. So how how are you feeling about this place so far? It's it's a no from me. It's a no. Yeah. Okay. I've got a dumbass, stupid smile all the way across my face. Now, what do you okay. notice? What do you notice down here, really fast, before we continue? What do you notice uh, in front of us here? Uh, grass. There you go. It's gonna be like a little underground oasis. A little underground oasis. Mhm. Mm define. Do me a favor and define little for oh, me. Never. Ooh, very cool. I, I, I feel like me. you're hoping for this giant reaction. If I don't give you the reaction, you're going to be all like... Oh, no, I mean, no, no. Just keep looking around. I mean, it's awesome. I like the color of the trees. I like that it's a cute little oasis. I mean... <sighs> Let me move you over to the area that I, that I have a uh, feeling for. So I hope you've got a little bit of gamma on when you're viewing this, but if not, yes, that's fine. Yes, I do. So this is the amazing part about this area. I'll go ahead and lift you up here so you got a little bit of a view. Um, this okay. place is ginormous. It's called the mm -hmm. Underworld. There is okay. crystal here. There is metal. There is oil. There's peaceful mobs. In fact, I'm going to drop you off at this island right over here. This is one of my personal favorites. Uh, this island is incredibly passive. There is nothing but peaceful mobs here. I love having less than half health. <laughs> the area is ginormous. Wow, it does look cool. You got the giant sun up there. Do not be alarmed. I've I've ran into that and killed myself before. So How uh, would we get uh dinos down? I guess well, they see, can that's jump the thing. through that. Quetzals and uh you know, there are underwater that's an underwater passage. It's not what strictly... can carry a giga? Well, see, we'd have to, you know, figure that one out a little bit. But um, oh. welcome to the, the center of the world. I think the best place to live. Um, it's our own private little area. We so are away from... So when you stream this, did your whole entire stream in one agreement go, yeah? I put up a straw poll and the uh, percentage of people that voted for... They saw both because I, I showed them the entire area. Compy behind you, you got a little pet. I see him. Uh, a couple of compies now. Hello. They're gonna start hurting you. Oh man. <laughs> I put an entire agreeance out, um, or a straw poll with the stream after showing them both. Uh, mind you that I showed them our house with the same exact excitement that we had last time because that mm -hmm. was the um, you know first time that I had shown them and I hadn't seen this yet. With both of them seeing the initial large reaction, uh, there was a pretty hefty 69% agreement to live here and 30% to live at the temple. Oh, everyone's going to be mad at me. You're still not digging this place? Really? I mean, it's here, okay. Here. You're not done with the tour. It's, you're not done with the beautiful. tour. It's beautiful. Come back over to the... You're, okay, you're over. trying so hard to convince me. Of course I, I like am. It. Quit being a I badass like about it. it. I like it. A badass. Yeah, you're all like, you're trying so hard to convince no, me. You're no not going to convince me. I'm a real estate agent. I'm going to pluck your eardrums out if you don't. I'm a badass. No, I like it. It's beautiful, and I love it, and I love Ark, and this game is so beautiful. And I think this area is great. I just don't think it's where I want to live. Have you seen yeah, all of the, uh, the green above here? How is it practical? Here? What do you mean, how is it practical? Look outside here. This is the, there's, look at this, full islands of every natural spawning dino. There's, look at how massive this, just, this is just the outside corner here. It's huge. There's crystal <laughs> all along the edges. Think of it like this. There's Diplos, there's um, Brontos, there's going to be, I'm pretty sure there's T-Rexes here uh, in certain areas. How would we areas. get all our stuff? We'd need to tame a Quetzal, wouldn't we? Well, I mean, we could take most of this stuff. The things that we wouldn't really be able to take would just be the very simple, like, rocks and wood, but we could get that here very easily. There's metal on all of the outside ridges of everything, which, if you think about it, is incredibly practical because in comparison to where we live, um, there's the nearest metal is on a mountain very, very far away in the middle of, like, Oh, my God, there's so terror. many dinosaurs. Please don't put me that close oh, to Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to, but look at all the Pteranodons and Brontos and Diplos and Stegos. It's, it's awesome. 
I mean, it's incredible. There's also about six entrances cool. too. Crystals over here, metal Very on every cool. edge. Here's a couple of reasons why I really like it. The first thing is, is that daytime or nighttime doesn't matter. It's always bright in here. So you never have to deal with that because um, the okay. really cool thing is that the center of it, right over here, that's basically like a sun, pretty much. It doesn't warm right. everything because you can still die from cold, which so someone actually I... recommended to put uh, points into Topor to live down here. Yeah, I think one thing I might look at is where uh, dinos spawn down here. Like, what kind of dinos? Because if we could get a... Hmm. I don't know. What you thinking? Hmm. Because well, I I feel like you you're set on this place. I'm not so. set. I'm not set. I'm very persuaded into it, but I'm not entirely set on it. I did want to get your feedback, and this is our series, so I, I obviously wouldn't just be like, yeah, let's do this or whatever. Uh, I would like to say a couple practical things about it in terms of gameplay. Um, while there isn't large metal deposits, the metal is all the way around here. So while you're gathering metal, you wouldn't have to worry about, say, your dinos dying, and you wouldn't have to travel incredibly far to get said metal. It's all mm -hmm. right down here. Um, after you get, like, really overpowered in this game, I do see this as being a, um, a situation where you could probably prevent the uh, hostile dinos from spawning because there's very few amounts of Carnos and very large amounts of everything else, pretty much, the very passive mobs. Uh, another thing is that you know, again with the daytime, it'll never rain. Okay. Which is that's a good one. I, I really like that one. Um, what are some other things that are really good about this? <laughs> Do you see yourself living here? <laughs> oh, just just throwing it out there. Um, the nice thing is too, and as weird as this might be, it is right next to several cave entrances, which is good for experience grinding. So when we get mm -hmm. really high level, if we get flak armor and a lot of weaponry, we can go in there with some double XP and really grind out some pretty high levels. Mm -hmm. uh, to put it into perspective, yeah, here's some more Brontos spawning along the edge here. Does somebody else who's in, like, your recording group live here? Like... Nope. Nope. Gotcha. Where this is just a very do... well-known place. Who was doing the other series? Lock on Amiola. They oh, don't live here. Where do they I live? I don't strictly know where they live. Oh god, if I get dropped, I swear to god. Oh, you're not gonna get dropped, you're fine. I am gonna have okay. to drop you in a couple seconds, though, to regen some stamina, but we're fine for right now. Alright, alright. Hmm. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> and then we have up here, uh, the land of the compies and dodos. So Aww. I'll drop you off here. Um, and then there, yeah, so there's that one big island in the middle, and then there's a lot of other islands surrounding it. What I thought would be kind of cool is uh, if we set up, like, a home thing or whatever with a ton of rafts out in the water, and we put, like, different stuff on the rafts, because rafts can hold up to 88 structures. Um, oh, my God. So if you put, like, a lot of rafts down, you could probably do some cool shit with it that hasn't really, yeah. like, is not too commonly done with Ark, which I think would be kind of <laughs> awesome. And uh, a little personal thing of why I like it is because the entire, I don't know if you've seen like the roof with all the green mushrooms, but it's funny yeah. because the green mushrooms are entirely my color that I've been using on Twitch <laughs> and everything for the longest time. Definitely. So I just, I just found that as a little funny thing. Yeah, yeah, I see it. There's sharks, there's ichthys, which are nice for, uh, I don't know if they're like itchies or, I don't know how you pronounce it or whatever. Um, but there's a lot of mm, typical ocean spawning creatures uh Very i don't cool. believe there's any gators or uh monster sea monsters is there the any spinos. underwater caves here i don't actually know i know uh one of the ways that you that oh i almost bit. died <laughs> yeah sorry about that um Great. <laughs> actually take a look down yeah yeah but no come down here really fast you can see um, one of the most useful things about this they're broken oh wow you're that damaged I almost died. My bad. <laughs> yeah, but if you swim down here, you're safe for a little bit. Um, you okay? Peace out. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Oh my gosh, do you see this fish here? Which fish? This fish oh, yeah, floating the above the fucking water. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. But yeah, if you take a dive underneath yeah. the water, it's all deposits of oil. So if we need any... Which is really nice because typically... Here's the thing. This is a really good area for late game as well, because once we start getting into, like, machinery and a ton of that, 
Um, mm -hmm. We won't need to go all the way to the north every time we need to go for a trip for oil and have to dodge a bunch of like T-Rexes and stuff. The oil's right down here in the water. So again, real quick, how will we get our stuff over for right now if we so, chose to live here? What we would probably do is take uh, several trips on Pteranodons. Uh, to bring it down that little hill. It's not too far away from our house, thankfully. You saw how quick we got there from our place. Um, mm -hmm. But the easiest way to get in was that dive there. Most of our stuff that's, like, sort of not implaceable, but just not too dip. Implaceable? You know, not irreplaceable. Implaceable. I like to shorten oh, what my What a words. cute pteranodon. Look at him. I thought you were going to say, what a cute term that I used. Um <sighs> You trying to pick me up? Pick me up. Yeah, I can't. I'm bad at it. You might need a little bit of what? stamina first. Oh. Yeah, that, that's yeah. You're out of stamina. Didn't you realize. haven't been using the shift technique, huh? No. Sit I, back yeah. down. You're not getting any stamina, fool. There you go. There you go. But yeah, you gotta grip me on the first time, otherwise, uh, that's not the right. I know. I was trying to hit you. Why? <laughs> Out of love. A lot of turtles. A lot of chitin. Um, really just like, it, it's very good for late game, I think, because of all the resources already being here. It is a little bit large for it, and I think another icty just died right in front. Yeah, it did. Oh, there's two of them on, above the water now. That doesn't look uh, terrifying <laughs> at all. Oh my gosh. Death Valley. Well, yeah, it is the end of the world. The way that I died is... Um, it, I I needed warmth because it got cold down here and I was about to die. Um, so I tried. Don't 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 no 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 no. Okay okay okay. If you touch it, you will get killed immediately. I wasn't gonna touch it. Well, see, that's where you and I are different. Here, pick me up. No. Also, you're not using a shift technique. I okay. You can. I just wanted to fly around a little bit. Okay, go for it. I didn't know you were like if you were gonna leave or anything. Nope. So how do you like the area? Uh, it's okay. I mean, it's, uh, I don't like decisions. <laughs> Take it's your okay. time. I'm not going to be mean, offended. I mean, I don't know. I really liked our place. I had ideas for the place. But I mean, um, there could be stuff here, I guess. There's also the silica pearls, um, all over the ground on this end. So like yeah. if you see where I am right now, silica pearls up the butt. So this is gonna be really good for like heavy machinery when we get to that point. I get it. Yeah. Um. Otherwise, the area that we were living in wasn't too bad. The only thing that I like look at is unfortunately like like with that area there what there isn't. And and listen, I'm not trying to persuade you. I'm really not trying to like talk <laughs> bad about. No 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 no. Listen, I'm not trying to talk bad on that area. I'm just actually thinking from like a genuine standpoint. As oh my nice God, as that, three dead fish. Yeah, no kidding. As nice as well, that's yeah, it's another one. Holy shit! Oh my God, there's two. No, it was four actually. Uh, one of them decomposed. As nice as that area is, I love it. Trust me, I do. The biggest thing that I loved about um my place over in um season one was the fact that I had unlimited uh cementing paste. I found it very annoying mm -hmm. that I had to travel really far to get like metal and stuff. Mm -hmm. The thing that I'm referring to here is that. We won't have to worry about silica pearls, oil, or hide, or anything Wait, like that. Wait, what about cementing paste here? There's no beavers down here. Well, you can't have everything. <laughs> well, you okay. can't have everything. There's no that's beavers true, over where true. we... Well, actually, there's like... It's still decently far away. Do you kind of get what I mean? Is like, this would be a little bit better for resources? Yeah. Again, um, just trying to talk, like, progressive-wise, but that's, that's well, just me. I feel like, I don't know, I don't really feel like I have a choice. I think you really love this place, and so does your stream. No, so. fuck that. Fuck that mindset. No, no, straight up, straight up, straight up. I'm just trying, because, like, here's the thing. I'm just trying to put this in your head as a really viable second option. Don't seem like my viewers, uh, he's going to give me a spaz attack. Don't <laughs> seem like my viewers or, like, me begging for this is like trying to push you like you don't have a choice if you say no then you're screwed seriously like it's a it's a two-player series it's a co-op series i like that other place too if you want to live there freaking awesome man let's live there i just wanted to like get this in your mind so you knew exactly like all the benefits and everything because i know that you're really set on that other place 
I'm good with whatever. We don't have to decide today anyway. This video ain't going up for two days. Oh, that's true, huh? Yeah, so we got a little bit of time. And that's basically all I got to show for you guys right now. Pretty much between this point right now that I'm making the video and rendering it out and everything, and the time that we upload and film, we'll film and upload the next episode of ARK, we'll make a decision, and uh, episode 10, the next episode, should pretty much be the actual starting point of ARK Survival Evolved on the center with us. And we actually start making like some good progress because... You know, by now, it's just been banter, trying to figure out where we want to live. But I think uh, pretty soon it's going to be kind of awesome figuring out, you know, which is going to be cooler. And uh, in fact, actually, it just clicked in my head a little, you know, oh no, we already talked about it. But I'm going to leave that for episode 10. And I think what we have to figure out, what we've decided on, maybe not decided on, not fully, but I think what we're probably going to decide on, which is an idea right now, is something that pretty much everyone will like for the most part. So... Catch you guys back in episode 10 when everything kicks off.